Every time, every. Wait a minute. Marcus! What? You ate my sandwich? No, I did not eat your sandwich. Let me smell your breath. Get away from me. <laughs> hey, why are you hiding food in my fridge anyway? I didn't hide it. I had it right behind the pot rolls, in between the spinach dip and the fruit punch, under the veggie platter, in plain sight. What up, y'all? Ha! I'm gonna smell your breath. You better back up. You ate my sandwich. What are you talking about? I just got here. Look me dead in my eye and tell me you didn't eat my sandwich. I did not eat your sandwich. Then why you got lettuce on your teeth? Lettuce? It's a pickle. Here, taste it. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you hide food in my fridge, put your name on it. Then everybody will know it's yours. Fine. I shouldn't have to do that. But whatever. Now I'm hungry. You know what? Let's hit that uh, Italian spot on Wilshire. Let's do it. Yeah. Y'all go ahead. Ooh. I already ate. I'm stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you are. Box office sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Let's do it. Mm-mm-mm. I was grading your papers last night. Woo! I realized that some of you guys, if you don't apply yourselves, your futures are going to consist of orange vests, parole officers, and hairnets. I don't know about you, but I look good in a hairnet. You know? <laughs> I know that's right, girl. First of all, nobody looks good in a hairnet, and you two have missed the point. Uh, let's do the roll call. Camille? Camille? Hi. You were just talking to me. Well, let's just start this all over again, because this might be the only question you get right today. Camille? I'm here. Thank you. You're welcome. Delton. Present. Question. Why do we do roll every day? To make sure that the people who are supposed to be here are here and those who aren't stay out. Marcus, I have great news. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work. I tell you, Marcus, we're back. What do you want, Bobby? I'm in the middle of teaching my class. What would you say if I were to tell you I just got you your own reality show? I would tell you no and to kick rocks. And why would I kick rocks? I'm wearing $1,500 shoes. I'm not doing a reality show, Bobby. Oh, man, are you crazy? Reality shows are the hottest thing going. Isn't that right, kids? Yeah, yeah. of course it is. <laughs> That's all I watch. People fighting, cussing each other out, stealing each other's men. What's so appealing about that? They do it in the cutest clothes. See, that's the reason why I'm not doing a reality show. Man, you just don't get it. We gotta keep you relevant. Can we talk outside? Yes! All right. Okay, class, take out your homework. When I get back, we'll review it. Wait, 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 I got a question about the homework. What is it? Did you actually expect us to do it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'll come visit you in a couple of years. Clink. <laughs> why are you bothering me? Mark. It's a great opportunity. I even got you a huge signing bonus. It doesn't matter. I don't need the money. I know. That's why I kept it. You did what? What? <laughs> if you two are going to fight, why don't you take it outside? But stay away from my Benz. Putting a Mercedes hood ornament on a Pinto doesn't make it a Benz. It's close enough. <laughs> You're not fighting. He's just trying to convince me to do this stupid reality show. And I'm telling them oh, what a bad idea it is. A reality show is not a bad idea. I mean, a reality show about you is a bad idea. Not all reality shows are stupid. Some of them are actually really informative and show people in a positive light. And who watches those? Hey, Bobby, how about you put me in a reality show? I mean, I was high school basketball player of the year six years in a row. Six years? Yeah, I know. It would have been seven, but I was injured my freshman year. You know, it would be nice to see one of our students on a television show other than cops, which reminds me, everyone set your DVRs. Our valedictorian is on tonight. Anna will put it into the rumor that all South Central teachers are burnouts, don't care about the kids, and only show up for a paycheck. Now, if you'll excuse me. Where are you going? To take a nap. Wake me when they hand out the paychecks. Do you really think this is a good idea? It's a great idea. People get to see Marcus Jackson again and you stay relevant, you still get to teach. It's a win-win situation. Do it for me, 
Do it for your career, do it for the kids, and do it for me, and do it for me. Okay, okay, I'll do it. As long as it shows the kids and the teachers in a positive light. All right, I'll allow this. But remember, this is a place of learning. Everyone has to act like normal high school students. You know, like they do at the other schools with the books and stuff. <laughs> okay, you have my word. You'll never even see the cameras. <laughs> Good morning, class. Can you, can you get this camera out my nose? <laughs> Roll call time. All right, Camille. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I wish I didn't hear that. All right, Milton. Where's my man Milton? Milton! <laughs> really? You just gonna tap dance in my class, Mr. Happy Feet? More like nappy feet. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> All right, guys, the purpose of the reality show is for us to be who we are. I agree. Stop that, Alicia, off keys. <laughs> Class, I know everybody's excited about their 15 minutes of fame, but this only works if we act normal. Hey, look, come on, guys. Mr. Jackson's right. We gotta start acting like ourselves. Like I'm crazy looking for attention. Thank you, Anthony. You're welcome, you know. <laughs> okay. I think we got enough of the kids. Yeah. Why don't we uh, get some footage of you interacting with your coworkers now? Good idea. Because it's obvious that the cast of Oklahomaless has missed the point. <laughs> get a better perspective of what South Central High School is about from the adults. Mark Starling, my ebony educator. Come closer, my Hershey hunk. I've missed you so much. Looks like you missed your meds. What the hell are you doing? Happy dramatic. That's what they do on reality shows. It's all about presentation. Director. Do you need me to cry? Because I can cry on cue. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, hi. Some of you may remember me from my playing days. <laughs> Andrew Thompson, former high school player of the year. <laughs> so uncomfortable with you in these shorts. <laughs> These shorts were big back in the day. These shorts were never big. You look like you're wearing a thong. Step away from the teacher. I repeat, step away from the teacher. Oh, great. Morgan Freeman's in the house. I'm not Morgan Freeman. Call me Batman. How about we call your psychiatrist? Don't be eyeballing me. These students need our help. I need you teachers to stand and deliver these dangerous minds so that they can lean on me. And then everything will be coolly hot. Coolly hot? I think you're all hot. I'm done with this reality show. I'm out. Wait, wait. No, wait, wait. Marcus, you can't leave. How can we do a reality show about you without you? You don't need me. You got the three superheroes. Batman, Thong Man, and I need a man. <laughs> Fellas, what's, what's up, up man? man? It's been a long day. Mark up! This is messed up. I put a piece of cake in here, now it's no cake. Did you put your name on it? Yes, I did. Plain as day, Tony, not yours. <laughs> it's not like you're the only person in the world with the name Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony could have creeped in. <laughs> Any one of them could have eaten it. Look, I ain't got time for this. Why not? It's not like you busy eating cake. <laughs> I can't prove it now, but when I do, <laughs> you, I'm gonna be mad at you. Hey, can you stop storming off long enough to answer the door? <laughs> and this is the beautiful home of my favorite client, Marcus Jackson. A true success story. So to all you kids aspiring out there to be a star, you remember, hard work. And good grades don't mean squat if you don't have a great agent. 
Bobby, I told you I'm not interested in being on a reality show. Cool your jets, Marcus. This reality show isn't starring you, it's starring me. And it's called... The World's Greatest Agent. I didn't call it that, they did. <laughs> we're gonna be shadowing Mr. Gold for a few days. Listen, we're just gonna be here a few minutes, and then we're gonna go out, capture me doing some more exciting things. Like stealing from poor people? Oh, is it Tuesday already? <laughs> Come on, Marcus, what do you say? <sighs> okay. You know what? Get a little footage, as long as you're not in my way. Uh, all we have to do now is get rid of all the junk we don't need around here. Ah, you two. Get out! <laughs> you ain't gonna talk to us like that. Yeah, we're not freeloaders. Hey, Marcus, we'll be in your pool if you need us. <laughs> hey, where do you keep your trunk? Nick. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm eating a sandwich. What kind of sandwich? A get out of my face and cheese. I'm gonna eat them sandwich. Mm -hmm. I don't need you. I have lots of interesting things to be doing. Mm -hmm. Hello? Is this the United Negro College Fund? <laughs> yes, this is Bobby Gold again. I'm good, thanks. Mm -hmm. Now, last week I pledged one million dollars this week, I'd like to pledge two million. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Make it three million. What? Hello? Oh, oh, this thing is broken. I mean, I mean I'll call you back. <laughs> now, what are you doing? Uh, excuse me, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> well. Okay, look, you promised us Marcus Jackson. If you can't deliver, we're pulling the plug and taking the money back. No, oh, follow me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Are you crazy? You can't bring these people in the bathroom? Of course we can. It's cable. <laughs> I knew it was just a matter of time. No, I'm hiding from my agent. Who hides from their students? <laughs> oh, please. So, where's the uh, camera crew? I pulled the plug on it. I thought it could be a big, big help, but it became a distraction. I'm here to teach. You know, I have to admit, you lasted at South Central High a lot longer than I thought you would. We actually all made bets. Well, how long did you think I last? A week? A month? An hour. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm Marcus Jackson. I'm here to stay. Really? Yeah. So you're just gonna give up the good life? I mean, how do you give up the good life if you don't have a life? All my time belonged to the studio. All my time belonged to the fans. I finally feel like, you know, my life belongs to me again. I'm Marcus. There you are. <laughs> I'm not doing this again, Bobby. Doing what? I was just on a way to a meeting when I stopped by to visit my favorite client. What are you two talking about? Anything controversial? <laughs> well, Bobby, if you must know, Marcus and I were actually having a very nice conversation. He opened up a little and he told me that it's hard to have a good life when you When don't... you don't have a life. That's a line from your movie about that vampire street gang called Bloods and Suckers. <laughs> Apparently on DVD and Blu-ray. <laughs> Okay, maybe that was a line from my movie, but I meant that with all my heart and every, every ounce of my being. being. That's a line from the same movie. That's what you said to the vampire queen to get her to kiss you before you drove that stake through her heart. <laughs> Samantha. No, you know what? Marcus, I definitely misjudged you. You're a better actor than I thought. Bobby! Oh, that's perfect. The passion, the anger, the flared nostrils. It's just the reaction we're looking for. You want a reaction? You're fired. Even better. I told you guys it was the real deal. I'm a believer. This is great. You're not playing, Bobby. I'm done with you. Well, okay, w wait, stop. Are you fooling around? <laughs> oh, you had me going. No, wait, are you kidding? Listen, you're such a good actor. This real stuff's throwing me off. I I'm not acting. You're fired. Now get out of here before I call security. Perfect! Oh, 
That's a wrap, guys. We got exactly what we needed. He fired me. And we got it all! Great job, Bobby! Don't you mean no job, Bobby? <laughs> Really? My name was on those cookies. You know they're not yours. I know. Payback is a biscotti. <laughs> you two still arguing over food? Yeah, he's eating my cookies. Correct then. Ate your cookie. <laughs> Let's keep it simple. If it's in my refrigerator, it belongs to me. It's good to know. Mm -hmm. There you go. Put that in the fridge. Why? Because it's my student loan. It now belongs to you. <laughs> hey, guys, I got some bad news. I had to let Bobby go. Oh, wow. What's the bad news? He just went too far. But I'm pretty sure there's a logical explanation for what he did. But until you figure it out, we need to split his 10%. Five for him, eight for me. Marcus, my man. Well, if it isn't Bobby Gold, the, the world's, world's greatest, greatest unemployed agent. <laughs> you didn't say it. We did. <laughs> Okay, okay, I deserve that. Marcus, I just came here to say to your face, I bad. <laughs> what? Isn't that how you cool cats apologize? I bad. Uh, Bobby, no, it's my bad. The cool cats went out in the 60s with that shirt. <laughs> okay, my bad. Bobby, you're wasting your time. Fellas, want some candy? <laughs> Look, I know you're mad. Just hear me out. Nope. Listen, I know things got strained between us, and it was mostly my fault. Mostly? Okay, it was all my fault. M mostly. <laughs> you don't throw away a friendship or a little hiccup, you know. Is that all you got? No. Who was the first guy that took you fishing? You drove my car in the lake. <laughs> oh, yeah, but then afterward, those two very nice officers helped us fish it out. <laughs> Who discovered you? Who saw that scared little comedian at that comedy club? and knew you had star quality, even though you were getting booed off the stage. You were the one booing. <laughs> what? It helps build character. You're welcome. <laughs> That's beside the point. You were a nobody, and I was a nobody at that Morris William mail room until we found each other, and then we built this thing together. You don't just throw away your friends because they make a mistake. If you did that, you'd have gotten rid of Tony and Jamal 15 years ago. <laughs> we heard that. I just gotta get a moment with Bobby. All right, man. Thanks. <laughs> I hate to see a grown man beg. <laughs> or cry. <laughs> if you need us, we'll be driving around in Bobby's Ferrari. <laughs> I, I know I pushed things too far, but I was just trying to make you stay relevant. And you know this business. Here today, gone tomorrow. But we agreed to do our movies in the summer. But what if that doesn't work? What if they forget? Then we'll deal with it. And it'll be okay. If we're gonna be a team, we have to work together, make our decisions together. And from now on, we will. If I'm still your agent. Of course you're still my agent, Bobby. Okay. What you watching? I just got a copy of the hidden camera footage from the reality show I killed. Let's check it out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew you ate my cake! You ain't nothing but go down! <laughs> Marcus! You too? Man, you didn't even say nothing! I can't believe this, man! I can't trust nobody! 